All right, guys, so last week you saw how to top dress a slope using nothing but organic material. This week, we're changing it up. I'm gonna show you how to spot top dress a location using sand. Now, why are we going to sand for this location instead of going purely organic? Well, this area, if you take a look at it, gets a lot of wear and tear. Like, it, it may not be easy to make out on camera, but whenever Alex or I mow this spot, there's actually little ridges in here, like almost a little laddering that happens in here, and that's strictly due to wear. So while we could use organic material to top dress this, sand is a much better medium because it tends to hold on to a leveling job a lot better than just purely organic material. In other words, it doesn't break down as quickly. So let me show you what you're gonna need. So obviously we're gonna need some sand. If you wanna take a look at what we've got here, this is not your, your standard play sand. This is what in Georgia we call it river sand. And what it is, it's a coarser material. It's a little bit coarser than, uh, than play sand. This is what you want. You don't wanna use play sand to top dress your lawn. So we'll be using that. And then as an optional um, adder, what we're gonna also be doing is we're gonna putting down some essential G. I like to do that anytime I'm, I'm top dressing a lawn because it's, it's always a great opportunity to introduce some organic material to help, you know, just feed the soil and also help uh, improve the grass's ability to recover. So this doesn't have nearly the nutrient value of a sand and soil mix or a purely organic mix. So we wanna take this opportunity to add some organic material to the soil. So we'll do that first before we actually get it on top dress. Now, as far as the rate that I'm gonna be using for this, I'm gonna be running my Earthway fairly wide open. The actual bag rate on this calls for 14.5. The high rate is uh, right at 23. So I'm running this um, right around 25 today, just because I wanna get down a nice heavy coat. I don't have to make a bunch of passes back and forth to build up um, a nice layer here. So let's do that now. All right, now the essential G's down, now let's start actually get to top dressing the lawn. All I'm gonna do is take one of these buckets and I'm literally just going to just start laying it out. Kind of like what you guys saw in the video on leveling a slope. And I'm gonna sort of leave some open area as, as I drop the material out. So something, something kind of like that. Probably gonna take a little bit more than that, but we can start with that. And I'm just gonna take my leveling rake. There'll be a link in the description of where you can pick one of these guys up. Be sure if you're gonna do this, invest in a good one. Don't get like a cheap leveling rake because the heavier ones do a better job of allowing the rake to do a lot of the work. So make sure you invest in a good rake. All right, so all we're gonna do is first begin just getting the material spread out around the area, around the, the vanity strip. And all you're gonna see me doing now, is I'm, sorry, I'm just gonna keep working it back and forth until I identify some low spots. Just keep working it in and out until we find low spots in the lawn. All right, guys, and as you can see here, what I'm looking for is this section here, where, like, where my part of the vanity strip starts is a little bit higher. So I'm really trying to smooth this contour between the transition between Alex's lawn and mine out a bit. So now that we've got it worked in, now I'm gonna start dragging it and trying to expose some of those grass blades. So I'm gonna start here and just drag it and see what stays on the vanity strip. Literally, this is how we really get that nice level and we work the sand into those little ridges that we had before. And actually, if you take a look here, you can see where there's sand, grass, sand, grass, sand, grass. See, it's very subtle, but this shows you when you're leveling how you're really filling in those slow, those, those low areas in the lawn. Um, and overall, it's gonna give you a smoother turf once it all goes back in. Let's put a little more sand down. Yeah, same thing guys here, rinse and repeat. Again, this area along the, the edge where we tend to get that laddering is what I'm mainly targeting. So I wanna make sure I get plenty of sand there. And then I'm gonna drag it smooth to really do the leveling work. So right now, it's just behaving kinda of like a shovel to move the material around. I wanna make sure there's enough to actually do the leveling work. I'm actually gonna push a little bit more on top of this section here that I just leveled. And then we'll just drag it smooth. So again, we'll bring it all the way back here, lay it down, allow the weight of the, of the rake to do most of the work and just plane it and drag it in nice and smoothly. You see right in here, all along the edge, that's taking quite a bit of sand. And the reason for that is this portion of the vanity strip is mainly moved with the true cut, and those tractor tires have the unfortunate side effect of creating a slight rut on the edges, so both here and on this edge. So you can see there's really um, like a low spot that's kind of burned in all along there. So we're trying to fix that too, along with, um, along with leveling the laddering areas. So something to keep in mind. 
And as you can see, the entire vanity strip is now done. Both Alex and mine, I couldn't resist the urge. I was putting sand on his and I figured I'd, why not do mine as well. Now, the thing you wanna keep in mind is you see how light the sand is on the lawn. That's what you're going for. There are some people that'll tell you that you can go ahead and, and turn the entire thing into a beach, you know, put down an inch of sand. And you can do that with Bermuda and get away with it. It can work, but I prefer to go lighter for a couple of reasons. One, the lawn is gonna recover a lot faster. You're also gonna be able to see the low areas of the, of the, of the lawn. So you're, you know that you're actually addressing the areas that, um, that, that are the problem spots. And then most importantly, when you get a heavy rain, you're gonna have less chance of it running off uh, due to being too heavy on the lawn. So you really wanna you know, get the, the material worked into the, the lawn so that it actually holds onto it. If you guys have not yet seen the video that I did last week on how to top brush a slope, that time I only used organic material, be sure to check that out. I'll have a video right here that you can click on to watch that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have an amazing day.